Good afternoon and welcome to this edition of this the situation right now with me, your host, Dara Blessed Mklanga. And this week we're going to be uh, delving into the MDC Alliance Political uh, Cooperation Agreement, which I have here in my hands. And we're going to be discussing it with one of the principals uh, who appended uh, their signature on this um, on this document, uh, 38 pages um, of agreement that was done between um, seven political parties. Now that is the MDCT, which was then led by Morgan Richard Changrai, uh, may his soul rest in peace. Uh, also signed here by Walshman Mube, the president of the MDC, uh, Tendai Biti, the president of the PDP. Jacob uh, Ngarivume, the president of uh, Transform Zimbabwe, Agripa Mtambara, uh, the interim president of uh, ZIMPF, Matthias Guchutu, the president of MCD, and Danford Musi Yarira, uh, the president of ZANU Ndonga. Now in studio uh, this afternoon, I'm joined by uh, Matthias Guchutu, uh, who is going to be taking us through uh, the issues around the composite uh, political cooperation uh, agreement. There's a lot of things that have been said about this agreement, and today this agreement is shaping the political landscape of the opposition in Zimbabwe. Now, thank you very much, Mr. Kuchutu, for joining us. Thank you. Now, Mr. Kuchutu, can you just give us the overview of what this agreement was about? Uh, when you uh, appended your signature on this document, what you understood it to be? Uh, you are, uh, good afternoon, everybody, and thank you for hosting me. Uh, you are quite right in saying there are a lot of things being said about this agreement. Indeed, when you talk of defining the agreement, it's quite very clear. If you go to this agreement 2.0, because in terms of defining, I'm sure that's where we start to define what it is, independence of parties. It's very clear. It says the parties agreed that the alliance partners shall remain and operate as independent parties, save in those aspects specifically provided for in this agreement. So we are talking of seven independent parties that came together and appended their signatures to this agreement. Yes, so let us talk about the independent uh, parties, the 2.0. You can just go in deep with that. Okay. According to 2.0, it's very clear. It says the parties agree that the alliance partners shall remain and operate as independent parties, but save in those aspects specifically provided for in this agreement. When we're talking of seven political parties that appended their signatures to this agreement, and the agreement is a non-compete agreement, which caters for our arrangement before the election and post-election coalition government. There was an assumption that we're going to win the election. So really we are talking of a collective thrust. No competition in that as seven political parties, we agreed to one presidential candidate, no competitor. We agreed to field candidates as parliamentary representatives, as, as, as local government councillors in those seats, and we don't compete each other. So that's principally 
our, our, our agreement. Mm -hmm. But is this what you did? Yes, before the election, we did that. Because we had one presidential candidate, yes, the late uh, Richard Changirai, and then our Chamisa who inherited his, his post, and then we went into the election is with one presidential candidate, and that was President Nelson Chamisa. And then we fielded the candidates in different uh, I mean, areas, they, they were not competing. Yes, in some aspects, some, some might say yes, they, they witnessed some, some anomalies, but it, these were a few areas. But uh, keeping on your agreement, we want to test some of the things that you have said, that this is what you did. Mm -hmm. you, your agreement here on, uh, on, on the same section, um, on A, 2G, two, two, two uh, it says this, each alliance partner candidate shall seek nomination at the nomination court under its name, but using the alliance common symbol. This is what your agreement says. Yeah. But you didn't do that. Yeah, the, we, we, we do agree that there are certain aspects that did not quite follow the agreement. Even up to now, there are certain aspects that did not quite follow because there are certain things we should have done even after the election. Because it's very clear saying after the election, as informed by the results of the election, you sit down, you amend or modify the, the agreement as informed by the situation. It didn't happen, but overall, we had a wonderful uh, campaign. I'm sure the whole world can testify that we had a wonderful campaign and we're looking forward to being in government. But, but you did not compete in terms of this agreement. Is that not correct? Overly, I think, uh, in, in, let's say the, the majority of the issues that we, we looked at, I think we stuck to the agreement. Here and there, I, I do agree. But your agreement, this section that I'm reading, says you will seek nomination. You were supposed to seek nomination as MCD. Mm -hmm. But you sought nomination as MDC Alliance. That is not what your agreement says. Yeah, I, that's why I, 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 I was very clear at the beginning. That we take, if we are talking of the overall thrust of a, having a presidential candidate and fielding, I mean, a, a seats with a non-compete principle, we did very well. But the overall issue was to make sure that we win the election, we come up with a presidential candidate who is going to win. And we're sure that with Morgan Changrai, we're definitely going to win. Our, our three, if you look at 3B, it says the presidential candidate must be selected from amongst the parties on the basis of the best individual who can win the election against the incumbent, who was the, the late Mugabe then, based on popular support. So, so if, if I then say, in my interview last week with uh, uh, the MDCT president, Douglas Monzo, he said, in no uncertain terms, that your agreement said that the leader of the MDCT would lead the MDC alliance. Is that correct? Let me go through the two clauses that talk about the presidential candidate. You can go uh, to those clauses, but is that assumption correct before you go there? Yeah, I'm saying it is as read with these two clauses that will be addressed. We're saying 3B is very clear. The presidential candidate must be selected. The, word, the key word there, selected. From amongst the parties, the seven political parties, meaning the seven come together. And then amongst yourself, you select one person. On the basis of the best individual, you sit down and say, now who amongst us is the best guy to talk to Mugabe? Uh, who has gone through the election or has not gone through the election? Who has statistics behind him to say he can maneuver or can come up with two million or three million? Okay? Who can win the election against the incumbent based on popular support? And then we go to what he was possibly referring to, which is 3.11. The presidential candidate, I'm sure we're now talking of what uh, President Douglas Monzero was talking about, based on the criteria and the principle outlined in 3B, which I was talking about, okay? The parties agreed that Morgan Richard Changre of the MTCT shall be the alliance presidential candidate. In other words, it, it, it's now like so, someone might just assume that if you're MDCT president, you possibly have the tag of popular support, which might not be, if you are talking of what is on the ground. But this clause does not say MDCT. It names a person. 
Yeah, it names a person on the basis that we knew that that person was MDCT. He was hating MDCT then. Why didn't you just say the leader of the MDCT? Why did you mention Morgan Richard Changrai by name? I'm sure the idea there was to, to be clear about whom we are choosing. Yeah, I, I understand that the crafting was done, but we were very clear in our minds that we are coming behind Richard Morgan Changrai. So I'm sure we can forgive the, the, the agreement. But this is money made after all. But based on B, mm -hmm. it's is it is it not? Then my my question comes to you. Mm -hmm. Is it that the leader of the MDCT should lead the salad? Let me say is yes. It fact or not? Let me say yes and also no. Yes, on the basis that when this was crafted. It was clear that the most popular guy, according to 3B, was Richard Morgan Changrai. And even the 3B, when they crafted that, they were simply making an agreement, putting it on paper, but knowing behind our backs that we are talking of Richard Morgan Changrai. But when we are talking of now, it's a different issue. If we are talking of Douglas, Mo Douglas Monzora, then we need to, to look at this, okay? Are we saying selected? Okay, we selected him amongst the parties. Is he the best individual to win the election against Munangagwa? Okay, based on, remember, the last two words, popular support. So if we take MDCT, possibly, let's say, according to the, the, the law, it's Douglas Monzon. If we take uh, Nelson Chamisa, possibly it's no longer MDCT, but in terms of uh, popular support, we know what's happening on the ground. If we take the two, and if we go by 3B, can we still come up, then what do we come up with on the 3, 1, 1? So, what, so if we are to select, let's say we are all here, and we have Monzora there, we have uh, with, uh, our Chamisa there, and the other principals are there, and you say, guys, amongst us, who is the best individual? So in, in, in what you are saying, mm -hmm. is that the principals are the ones who have the power to select their presidential yes. candidate. Yes, according the to this. Yes. It's very clear. So it's not automatic. It's not automatic. That is very clear according to this agreement. But then it was very automatic because everybody thought, I ah, know if we are going there and sitting down there, obviously our candidate is the lady, Changre. Do you, as a principal, think that the MDC Alliance agreement still holds today? I say yes and also no. I say yes in that we campaigned for a presidential candidate. Okay, who, who lost on, on, on I mean, controversial uh, uh, matter, okay? And then we also have MPs, senators, and the councillors who are in, in the structures with the Tech MDC Alliance. We cannot wish that away. We cannot wash that one. Also, we are saying, yes, it's operating because we are people, we have people in parliament as we sit, we have senators in parliament as we sit, we have councillors who are running council uh, government as we sit, and we are going to be in those structures up to, to 2023. And then I also say no. And that someone may say, on a day-to-day -day basis, are you meeting as principals? What's happening? Is the MDC Alliance actually there as we're seeing them before 2023? Then I'll say, ah, no. When it comes to that aspect, mm, a lot of things are happening on the ground because there's another the MDC Alliance, which is different from the alliance that we had before 2023. So my answer would be yes or no, but overall, I would say the yes is more important because we are talking of people who are in parliament as we see. So what is, your, what is the benefit of the MCD in this agreement that you say is subsisting right now? Right now, I would say we don't have anything, except that we are, we are part of uh, this agreement. But you said that the agreement is still alive. Yeah, the agreement is still alive because we are saying none compete. Mm -hmm. If you are in my area and you are a member of ZMPF, we are saying all the other parties campaign for you and you win. But when you win, your MDC Alliance candidate might take Zim, uh, uh, of Ngarifume, uh, Kuchutu, Musiarira, and the like, so there. But you are, you are there. But this is not what you say in this agreement. So how can it be alive? Because in this agreement, is, you say if you compete, you must compete as MCD. And if you win, you'll be MCD. This is what your agreement says. Yeah. It, yeah it, so, so how is it alive? Yeah, it, I said yes or no. But let's have a definite answer because the people of Zimbabwe want to know. 
What power do you exercise from sponsoring a candidate as MDC ally mm -hmm. into parliament and into council? What power do you exercise? The power is that uh, I was part of the move to campaign for that for that guy to be in parliament. And our assumption, I still hold that. I say our assumption. Someone may say terrible assumption is that we we after thought we'll be in government. And when we're in government, we form a coalition government. And then we, uh, according to the agreement, each one of us was going to get ministerial post, deputy ministerial, and then depending on the on the proportion of where of what you, you scored, you get ministerial post and so on. And according to us, we're supposed to have, I'm sure, the Department of Labor, that we're supposed to have a candidate there after our consultation it didn't, it didn't work out. So this, this was a power sharing yes, coalition? Yes, simply that. So you didn't win power? We didn't. And you think the MDC Alliance, a power sharing pact, is still alive when you don't even have the power? I answer to that. Because I said we have people in the structures, we have people in parliament, okay, we, have un we are under different portfolios and they are doing very well. Yes, there might be recalling, some people are being recalled. Mm -hmm. Th that's more of an internal issue in MDCT, mm -hmm. which has nothing to do with us. But because now it's affecting the NEMA alliance, mm -hmm. that's why we, we have to be talking. Mm -hmm. Because it, it's no longer just MDCT. Because then there were factions within MDCT, even our time, terrible function, factions. Uh, Changira would come to our table and say, guys, uh, when well, we read this and that in the, in the newspapers, but on the ground, surely it's true. This is what is happening. I'm managing this way. This, way. this is the way we are operating as the seven. Mm -hmm. If you have any problem, you come to the table, you don't, go to, you don't go to the press. You come to the table, guys, this is what happened in my party. And if you, if, you, if you don't feel like telling the others, you are free. So who is the president of the alliance right now? Yeah. That's a million dollar question. You say it's in, it's, in, it's, it's in subsistence. It's working. So tell no, us. I said it yes. Can, it, I, can, I, it can be a million no, dollar No, I said yes on a, on a certain level. And I said no on a certain level. I said yes and I explained You're being why. a politician here. You want to evade questions. Yeah, no, I'm not evading. I'm being very clear. Mm -hmm. I said yes and I explained why I said yes. Mm -hmm. And I said no and I explained why I said I said no. But now we are talking out, coming up with a question which everyone out there wants to know. Mm -hmm. Who is the MDC Alliance what? MDC Alliance president. Mm -hmm. Okay? We are saying we, know, we are informed we have two alliances as we speak. We have the President Nelson Chamisa, who is the president of the alliance, which is a party which came out of a congress. We have uh, our Douglas Monzora, who heads MDCT according to the laws of Zimbabwe. I, I, I'm not disputing that. I don't want to get into that, uh, into that uh, issue. Who goes around also telling people that uh, since I'm the president of MDCT, I'm now the president of the alliance partners. So as far as we are concerned as alliance partners, we are saying for now as we speak, okay, for now as we speak, uh, when the Douglas Monzora and the Coupes came, came into this uh, new, 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 new scenario and the one, the court, they called us, I'm, I'm just painting a picture here, they called us, it started as private, but later everybody was informed. They called us, and one of the principals who attended that meeting, and I'm sure, according to me, they did a good job. Mm -hmm. Because the Cooper started by apologizing on behalf of DC, apologizing on behalf of Chamisa, and then you're saying, I will make amends, we'll do very well. Uh, guys, we, we, now we, over there, we, we knew we had one or two, three problems, but as from now, we start talking, we re engage, and then we see what we can do. And that to me was according to what he is on the paper. And then they went to Z after that, and most of us thought, I know, since they are going into a, into, into a Congress, possibly we might be disturbing them. And then they went into Congress after there, we, 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 we were talking here and there on certain forums, and then there was this outbreak pandemic again, we couldn't talk. Thereafter, to be honest, before God, there was total silence from the, the new guys. I'm talking of Douglas Monzora and the others. So when we hear that talk, we sort of wonder what really might be happening on the field. That's why I can say for now. He says that you are backing his presidents and as leader of the alliance. That's what he told me. I think that could have worked 
if they really kept to on track as they started. For now, I think they've diverted a bit. We have a problem now in saying who is the head of the alliance. You, you wrote to uh, Morgan Komichi and responded to you in a, you wrote uh, to him a letter, 27 August, and you wanted uh, to have your share of the political uh, finances money. Is that correct? Sure, I mm -hmm. did that. Why do you want to share when you don't have anyone who was elected into office? According to this agreement, it's very clear. It's non-compete. Every member of the alliance has a share in every candidate who wins or loses. In every uh, seat that you, you, you see here. Because we're saying you are fielded in a particular seat and all the other parties campaign for you. So when we have Nelson Chamis at the end, he has two or so million, even MCD will say, we have a share there. Okay? Because I went around, I, I, for sure, I'm, I'm one of those, it's well known, I went around, and they said, if you are a Christian, okay, here is the best candidate. We're talking about for a, a pastor. Okay? All those who are Christians, and I stuck my, my neck out to say, all those who are Christians from the Zambes to the Limpopo, from the Botswana border to the Mozambican border, this is our candidate. I put a voice there. Okay. It might have been risky, but I did that. So wherever, okay, who, who, some, some of the people possibly didn't even want Chamisa. But because of my voice, they also came in. Mutambara came in as a, as a brigadier, okay, a soldier, a former soldier. When we went to war, a brigadier level, saying, if you are talking of a president, our candidate, we will also take into cognizance a deliberation struggle. He is your candidate. Okay? So, so you are saying that by virtue of that, you must have a say in all candidates elected. Yes, we already have a share, a say, by them just being there and having but you, voted. But you have no power to recall them. You have no power to sanction them. You have absolutely no power to do anything to them. No, no. We, we, we talked about that in the letter. I'm sure it's, mm. it's, a, it's, a, it's a new, I, I wrote a press statement on that one, mm. where we were very clear in saying in terms of recalls, uh, we thought they should, shouldn't have been done, the recalls. But, Why? Yeah, because the thing, according to the agreement, I'm sure I, I came up with the, with, the, with the clause, according to the agreement, they were not supposed to be recalls without the approval of the president. And the president then was in uh, Chamisa. But then it's arguable again in terms of the laws of the world. That's why it's a bit of a problem now to actually say what, what exactly you might want to say. Because we are saying the laws of the Zimbabwe now are supporting Douglas Mwazora. Popular support, people on the street are supporting Chamisa. Is that, is that that's, a, that, that's a, according to us okay. as the partner in the alliance. Mm -hmm. Yes. The laws is on Zora. Popular support on the ground. It's Chamisa. If you ask me today who won the presidential election in, in 2018, even Dukubaku Hope, I will tell you that it's Nelson Chamisa with Sandra Raske who won that election. I have no problem with that. But the results show something to yes, different. Yes, well, I, I agree the, the results are, are different. Well, we all know it's under controversial circumstances. I cannot go into more detail. When you say, oh no, I, I don't know. It. Okay, it doesn't matter, it might be excluding you, possibly. <laughs> Everybody out there knows that the controversy, which includes you, because as a journalist, you're also uh, uh, what, covering what was happening in, in terms of the, the challenge. Okay. Yeah, so the alliance also, I, I see here, it actually says that you are supposed to have different chief whips in parliament. Yes, yeah, sure. Each party, but that's not what happened. Yeah, if for now we, you, like I said, we this uh, non compete, okay, uh, covered pre election setup, which I think went on very well, and then post election setup. Okay, the post election was depending on the results, then we come up with what with the. The power sharing, even in terms of chief whips and, and so forth and so forth. So that question would better be filled with the guys who have the MPs in parliament, because that's that's their job. But do you have the principle? 
Yeah, I'm this is your agreement. Yeah, this is our agreement. Yeah. So you now, are, you're supposed to oversee yeah. it. Yeah, but for now I'm saying we we are, we there's no, people are not meeting. So is the agreement alive? I said this and I said no and I explained. The the there are going to be by elections and um, the president of the MDCT, Douglas Bonzo, has insisted that he is going to compete as the MDC alliance because the MDCT was the major partner in the alliance. Mm -hmm. Does your agreement have major shareholders? Right. If we are talking of uh, by-elections, I think there are two issues there. We are talking of major shareholders, we are talking mm -hmm. of by-elections. Not knowing really what might happen, whether those by-elections are going to take place or not. Our, our take is that the by-elections will possibly take place. Okay. Uh, although there are lo there's a lot of talk that they might never uh, take place, we don't know what really might be. My dear Ben, uh, to be honest, in terms of by elections, I better say I don't know what might happen in terms of by elections. Because we never anticipated that we, we are going to have by elections in terms of recalls. We're talking of by elections, the natural thing someone dies, someone possibly is fired, or something else happens. But we're talking of a very different scenario now. We're talking of by elections as a result of recalls. Okay. So, right now, we, we know um, we know that Washington Mube stands with Nelson Chamisa. Mm -hmm. We know that Tendai Piti stands with Nelson Chamisa. Uh, Jacob Ngalvune has made it public that he stands with Nelson Chamisa. Where do you stand? We have no problem with the Nelson Chamisa ourselves. I think we are one of the few uh, partners who uh, never resigned from the alliance. Though we have problems or even complaints like anybody else, but we never resigned from, from him. But we are saying the scenario on the ground uh, was a bit different. That's why even when he called us, I went there willingly. I wasn't forced. I went to Mkupe. I wanted to hear what, you were, what she was going to say. But uh, they dismally failed to follow through what they achieved. And if you would ask me, President, I would tell you what they could have done and they could have scored. And why they didn't follow through, I also don't know. So right now, where do you see? No, right now, I, I'm saying we, we are waiting to see how things will, will flow in terms of uh, the scenario, in terms of the name, and, and so forth. But uh, when, when things went haywire, we are still part of the MDC alliance, possibly the only few of the parties that were solidly behind the alliance, which was led by Nelson Chamisa. But like we are saying now, we are talking of MDC alliance, which is different from what we, we knew, because that MDC alliance now is a party. There is also another MDC alliance, which we signed for, which is an umbrella body. And there is also another MDC team, which is not the MDC that we knew, Okay, it's another MDCT according to the Zimbabwean law. Okay, so all those put together, I'm sure very soon the true situation will unfold. So you do not know where you stand right now? No, I, I don't need to, to stand behind anybody. We, we as Christian Democrats, we, we actually don't take sides between the two. We actually wish the two at some point might come together. Uh, we were saying to ourselves, if, if we, Mugabe and Smith uh, could come together, if, if Mugabe and Nkomo could come together, uh, why can't Chamisa and, and Douglas Monzora come together as well? But Nelson Chamisa changed this agreement and made a political party. That's not in here. What did you do about it? Right, that one is, is, is a very good question, very difficult one. Uh, the issue is, l let me come up on, on a very different platform. I'm one of those people who sincerely believe that uh, MDC Alliance, is led by Nelson Chamisa, should change its name. Why? Because if they continue as MDC Alliance, it's a further complication unnecessary to this agreement. But I do agree with what they did because when they lost, controversially lost uh, at court, they had to come up with a quick fix. 
which they did very well because Nanguva no one was new and poor. Changuwe ba polpa no mubata, and someone out there might see your hand and then help you and so forth. So at that particular time, surely the name MDC Alliance is not supposed to be a political party as one. It's supposed to be an umbrella body. But they to come up with a party because they, they had lost at court. Uh, I'm sure they'd never dreamt of that or possibly it was a very remote possibility according to them. And they'd come up with a quick fix. And I also think as of now, I had Tendai Beatty talking about uh, rebranding, saying it's very difficult. I would agree that if they change the name, though I don't quickly agree with the conversion, I would agree with MDC Chamisa. I'm one, I might stick my, my neck out to say I would agree with that name change. Why? Because we are talking of 2023, just around the corner. Coming up with a new brand is not a joke. We are talking of MDCT as from 1999 up to now. It's about 2021 years, okay, in people's minds. Even if Zanu closes borders with certain uh, districts and the like, it's there in people's minds. You can't move it out, okay? So if they come up with convergence, I think there's a big disadvantage. With Nelson Chamisa or MDC Chamisa, I would say that would be the right quick fix again. Like they came up with MDC Alliance. It was a quick fix. We all knew this is wrong. Okay? But to come up with something. Now if they say Nelson Chamisa, right, we are we are harnessing two forces. We are harnessing the brand name MDC, which is there in the minds of the people. We are also harnessing the name Chamisa. Because Chamisa on its own is a name. At some point, people were saying Chamisa was even more popular than the party. So we're harnessing two forces. We're harnessing the brand name of the party and then the name itself, Chamisa. And then the two, okay, for 2023. Now with this CC3, I just thought possibly Barungo Chakokovanda, CCC might mean Chamisa Chete Chete chet, instead of saying convergence and so forth. So it's my take to say as of now, a name change to uh, MTC Chamisa, though some people might... You, would you trust a politician like Nelson Chamisa? No, we are not putting trust there. We are talking of a situation that must be solved. But is it not an important thing to be trusted as a political... As someone who wants to lead a country, people must be able to trust that once you give someone power, they will not abuse it. Yeah, I think our question now is in terms of the, 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 the name. I'm sure you were referring to the name MDC Alliance. And they were asking, I was putting my way to behind the name MDC. Yeah, my question now is coming on the basis that you say he violated this. He changed this into a political party. Yes. Would you trust a person who does that for power's sake? In what you say? I would say if I were in his shoes, I might possibly have done the same because I'm saying there was a controversial defeat on their hands. And it might meant, might have meant uh, extinction. As they moved out of court, there was no political party for them. They had to come up with an idea. And the best idea then was to have MDC Alliance as, as the last resort. And they, then they went for it. And they have survived. So I'm saying the same survival tactic they should also use for 2023. That same survival ta tactic is just this survival tactic in the short term. Well, they work out a long term, which might be convergence of citizens and so forth and so forth. No, no problem. But if they do that for now, they can still have this convergence for the next eight years. Because we're saying three years before the elections, but you might have convergence one this year. And then another five years from 2023 to 2028. But in terms of changing convention to convention right now, to me, it's suicidal. So as, as we speak, uh, Mr. Gucci, does anyone at the present moment, individually, have the right to claim the MDC alliance without principles sitting there? According to this agreement, there is no way as an individual you can, you can claim unless you come up with the principles. If we go to the last chapter okay. of this, it's very clear in terms of, we're talking of post-election now, mm -hmm. because we went through the election, and a lot of things have happened, a lot of controversy as well. I'm sure that is covered by 7.3, right? 
it says 7.2, the last sentence there. Only the written terms contained in this agreement will bind the parties. We've got 7.3 variation. The agreement may only be amended or modified by a written instruction executed by all the parties. Not by two or three. By all the parties. You can so, wish. So yeah. if one party does not want to execute, then that variation cannot happen. Yes, according to this. We have a problem there. Every party must agree. And then we go further. Duration of the agreement. That is where I said yes. Mm -hmm. This agreement shall from the date of the signature ensure for a period up to the end of the five-year term of office of the government, that was an assumption, that the parties would have formed post-winning the harmonized elections scheduled for year 2018. Right? According to that, we didn't win. Okay? We can't talk of a government, but by implication. It means the results of that election are there to stay for the next five years. This is endure for a period of up to the end of the five-year term. Yes, which is twenty. Of office of the government that yes. the parties would have formed. Mm -hmm. You didn't form any government. Yes, and and I agreed. By, and then I said by implication, mm -hmm. because we might have voted someone who is in parliament, someone who is in the council, or someone who is in the structures. By implication, though he's not in. Is there? Is there? Because this says that only a, the written terms contained in this agreement uh, will bind the parties. And it also says by a written instruction, the agreement may be only be amended or modified by a written instruction. Yeah. Was there or was there not a written instruction to say that you will not contest in the names of your individual parties? but under a common name called MDC Alliance. Yeah, I, I do agree that we, we varied a few things. Without written or with yeah. written instructions? Yeah, no, we, we, we agreed on some of these things because we, we talked. But in essence, strictly speaking, that might not be according to the agreement. So but you violated? Over, overall. You violated your own agreement? Yeah. I, it, it, it's, it's contained there that here and there people might talk on certain issues, okay? And, and it's by but, implication, but, it's but also... But there is, there, is, there is clear something written clearly here that says this amendment, this agreement may only be amended or modified by a written instruction. Yeah, by then, we, before the election, we, we used to meet. It was regular. But I'm and asking you, you on a specific thing. Yeah. Did you have a written instruction to go in and compete all of you as MDC alive? No, we, we talked about that and we, we, we agreed in, in our meeting. Did written, you? Written, written, we agreed on those things. You agreed? Yes, we To agreed. what? To become a political party? No, that, that's, that's different now. If you are talking about political party, I've already answered that one. But in terms of political party, it's unfortunate. You competed as a political party, as a single political party? Yeah, in terms of uh, technicality. Technicalities are one thing. But, uh, but the party, let us, let us, what really happened is another thing. What let, us, let us deal with facts. Yes. You competed as uh -huh. a political party called MDC Alliance. Mm -hmm. You did not compete. You did not use this agreement to get into elections. One would argue on that one. Your and, agreement. And, and, yeah, someone would argue. Your say, agreement says here, and I, and I read, yeah. the parties agreed. That the alliance partners shall remain and operate as independent parties. Yeah. You didn't do that when you went into an election. It further says, and, I, and again I read, each alliance partner candidate shall, shall, it doesn't say may. Yeah, I know the difference between May and shall yeah. are not the same. According to the law, yes. It says shall seek nomination at the nomination court under its name. So you are supposed to go under the MCD, but using the logo of the alliance. Yeah. You didn't do that. Yeah. I, so I, you I, did I, not compete under the terms of this agreement, did you, Mr. Gucci? Okay, let me be clear. There are certain issues here, and I've already agreed to that. There are certain issues here that were overridden by our discussions and our agreements behind the questions. You, yeah. you can we, say that, yes, but, we, we, but, but your we agreement agree. here, again, yeah. not mine, yeah. yours, 
that carries your signature uh, on the last page. It says only by a written instruction executed by all the parties. I don't know if we are talking of the MCD issue, okay, in every other party. It's exactly according to that, because we are saying behind the closed doors there is a lot of negotiation before the election. Did you write it and down? We, no, no, we, we're not talking of written uh, instruction. If we come together as seven political parties and we discuss an issue and we put it on paper in terms of minutes, that overrides that. It's, it's actually the same thing. Because are you in agreement? Yes. MCD, yes. ZIMPF, yes. Ooh, yes. So you so agreed that. to enter as a single political party? Yeah, we, th that was. So you became one political party. Is that correct? No, it's not correct. So what did that, you do? That's, that's why I, I'm saying we agreed for the sake of entering into an election. Is what? Okay. Is an umbrella body called MDC Alliance. That was the understanding. Whether technically it might mean one political party like we are putting. Because you lost your identity when you went into that election. Because nobody knows the MCD. Yes. Uh, Everybody I, knows the MTC Alliance. All right. And when Zek was announcing results, it said ZANU PF party candidate, MDCT party candidate, MDC Alliance party candidate. Mm -hmm. So you were the party? Yeah. That was not our understanding. Our understanding was we were going in as an umbrella body. That's why when later they went for a congress, we did not participate in that Congress. We only came in as observers. In fact, I'm on record saying we cannot now become one party. Because once we do that, we are like swallowed. It's against the spirit of this agreement. So uh, I cannot speak for the other parties, but that became the problem after the election, where it was like we are now coming up with one single party. Now, when it comes it to was that, like that. When it comes to that, the MDC alliance that we're talking about now, that was the idea. Okay. Everybody's coming in under one name. You lose your identity. Okay? And that's why some of us... But had you not already lost it before the election? No, no. When, we, 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 when you, because you did away with, uh, with, with Clause G. No, we, we had not because... When, you, when, you did away when, with a clause that allowed political parties to have their own chief whips in parliament. In fact, you did away with a whole lot of clauses that... Uh, that I hear because it says here that political parties who get into parliament should not whip each other to uh, ways that, um, let me just look at that close, that you, you were not supposed to vote with your other political parties where you had your own standpoint in parliament. Mm -hmm. I'm saying technically, mm -hmm. you are very correct, but in terms of our understanding and what was happening, that's a totally different aspect. We went in okay. as an umbrella body. This one here says... Likely or wrongly. This one here says, mm -hmm. the parties agreed that their alliance, their alliance shall operate as the MDC alliance. And the parties shall use a common symbol during the 2018 harmonized election. Being an encircled open power, incorporating the image of the alliance presidential candidate and the name and logo of each party mm -hmm. underneath. You did not do that. I remember we debated that, even as principles, and we came up with an agreement behind closed doors. That was debated because most of the people didn't like that aspect. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So that was debated. It's just unfortunate that it, technically it's something else. Mm -hmm. uh, and you're quite correct when you're saying technically, technically and looking at this agreement close by close, you, you see many pitfalls. But the overall aim was to make sure that our presidential candidate wins at the end of the day. And we thought we had done very well. So did you live up to the dictates and requirements of this alliance agreement? I think the main thrust, let, let me be clear there, I think the main thrust was to, for us to make sure we're coming up with a campaign that will produce a, a winner. Yes, if you are a team you want to win, you want to score, uh, and as you go to score, someone might step on another person's toe, uh, toe or someone might do uh, the, the unreported or might uh, here and there infringe rooms. Okay? But the end result is that you all want to win. 
surely in terms of steps, okay, there were some mistakes, quite a number of mistakes. We do agree. But at the end of the day, we were sure that we're going to, to win the election. Though we didn't, but I'm sure we did a very good job. I, 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 I rest sometimes at home smiling, saying we've done it, though the end result might not be a good one. But Take those who watched us, they say you did a good job. Taking you back to your demands for getting a share from the Political Finance Act from the MDCT, do you believe that you deserve that share? I sincerely, wholeheartedly believe that every party that contested for that was part to the alliance should have some share. Uh, whether proportionately or as dictated by a meeting of the principles and, and agreed because we all contributed in one way or another. I can tell you people who voted some were MDCT, some were not members of MDCT, but they voted for the word alliance. Even those who were rebels to MDCT, when they saw the word alliance, they went to vote for it. Why? Because they felt they were voting for someone else, something else different, different from the MDCT, possibly that they knew they thought was corrupt or whatever, or dictatorial or so forth. But they could hide behind the word alliance. So we all contributed. So at the end of the day, yes, it was a mistake in that uh, when the finances come, they come to MDCT, <laughs> the, the, the main party. We thought there should have been some mechanism in making sure. But that in the first few years, they didn't come to MDCT, did they? They yeah. went to MDC Alliance. Yes, that, 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 that's correct. But I mean, strictly speaking, we know that uh, it was not MDC Alliance. It, it had to go to certain covers. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So it's my my sensibility, that everybody who participated should get. Have you got anything so far? No. You wrote uh, demanding your share. What yeah, was the response? Was, no, there was, there was no response. Yeah, I, I, I tried to, to phone him. I, I, I even tried to write <laughs> when he's up. I said to myself, oh, possibly now the guy is the main opposition party, so possibly he might not have the time. I don't really know. Which but guy? I'm talking of Douglas Mondo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we, uh, he's a friend. We've been in the trenches for, for long, longer than even the, the MDCT. But I, here I have a response that was uh, uh, written and signed by Morgan Committee here, uh, which, which, uh, which was a response to you. Um, it says here, yeah, your letter of 27 August refers, thank you very much for the spirit of engagement that you exhibit in the letter. Let me assure you that it is both my intention and that of my party to adhere to the spirit and letter of the composite political agreement signed 2017. And his letter was dated 24 September 2020. Now, did the committee live up to this pledge? No, I think that's a different issue. We're talking about our share in terms of the agreement. Mm -hmm. Because we're supposed to have someone to stand in Butu. We're supposed to have a PR representative in Midlands. And then we wrote a letter complaining about that issue, saying, if you are recalling people, are you aware that in the first instance, they are going in was based on a wrong principle? It's like I'm supposed to be in. So did, did he leave no, that up to? No, no, he didn't. But I, I, I'm, I'm saying I'm referring. What, when you said, did he make a response? I said no. But that is in terms of the Finance Act. Okay. There's no response. He, 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 read, he wrote to you here and uh, said that there was going to be a meeting of principals and uh, that, uh, may I suggest that we liaise to reinstitute the coalition principal forum and the coalition liaison committee tasked with issues pertaining to compliance, implementation or enforcement with the agreement composed of negotiators from each party to from each party in order to keep all partners fully aware of the political and electoral happenings that may take place. You may be aware that our party is going through a defining phase at the moment and it is through such fora as presented by the uh, CPCA 2017 that you may get to receive full briefing. Now, did this happen? I talked to it in our interview. I said they started the very well but they failed to follow through. Why did I ask them? As far as I'm concerned, 
there was it's a non event. This not happen. Maybe in closing, Mr. Kuchudu, maybe can you just you know your overview what needs to happen for Zimbabwe's political landscape to begin to serve the people and not the interests of those in power. Like I said previously, we see no reason why we should have even faction fighting within MDC team. Because as long as that continues, a lot of people will still see self-seeking individualism in our political terrain. So my, my take would be, we need to put our heads together and solve this monster, which is now within the opposition terrain. Uh, because we have a big fight. Now, in terms of opposition politics, as Christian Democrats, we say politics is simply a marketplace of ideas. We don't need any violence. We simply need to see ideas and see how we can move forward. So if we can destroy this self-seeking individualism, put our heads together, and come up with what we are to do for the sake of Zimbabwe, will follow through. I'm, 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 I'm privy to certain uh, thrusts that uh, people are making to say, why don't you do this, A, B, C. I don't have to preempt anything. But surely on the ground, there are moves to make sure that uh, we destroy this monster that is now within. It's not within the, the ruling party. It's within ourselves. That must be resolved. Thank you very much for joining us, uh, Mr. Mathis Kuchutu of the uh, MCD, that's a movement of Christian uh, Democrats who were part of the MDC Alliance, and we were discussing this MDC Alliance Political Cooperation Agreement and how um, uh, Mr. Kuchutu and his political party uh, come into the fray. We here at Heart and Soul TV and Radio, we believe no matter how big or small, no matter where you come from, your political or religious racial ground. This is the platform for discourse. This is the platform where we all share our ideas as a nation and build Zimbabwe together. We say, do not talk through each other, talk with each other. This has been the situation right now, and I am blessed, Dara Mtlanga, and thank you very much for joining me. Until next time, this is the situation right now. Thank you.